hello i'm kristen lee um it is july 1st today i just took a shower i came home to oh i'm wearing my golden girls shirt finally and uh anyway i came home to a heat spell so it's gonna be 103 degrees today and of course i offered for the neighborhood cookout that we're having for the 4th of July, I offered baked goods, so love that for me. That and my um, sausage and peppers, because that went over well last year. So, um, I don't remember what I did in June. Like, I remember most of last week. I'm still recuperating from my trip. Um, it was a lot of people in a short amount of time. And so I'm probably going to watch along with you to remember what I did. Because <laughs> leading up to my trip, I, um, I was really only reading and like getting odds and ends for my trip. But uh, once I started my trip, I was just flying by the seat of my pants. So these are some of the things that I d just didn't know where to fit in my videos and... Let's watch it together. I just did a newbie traveler. Um, I'm just so mad. Well, not mad at myself, just disappointed. Because <laughs> I'm usually the one that does it for my family. <coughs> but I needed to check in because I'm flying Southwest. And my friend that's picking me up was like, hey, you know, I need your... Um, your flight numbers and all that other stuff so that I can watch out for when you're coming in and whatever. I was like, oh, I forgot. So I did it and I am group B on Southwest. So that means I'm after the family. So hopefully I get my own seat. That's not in the middle. Let's try this again. So I'm in upstate New York. It is muggy and hot. And I got all my adulting done on day one, so I'm very proud of myself. I went to the library, got my new library card, um, put air in the tires, put gas in the car that I'm borrowing of my friends, brought my plates back, I'm caffeinated, but I feel so lost being in my hometown. It's wild. Uh, like, I I know where I'm going, but trying to figure it out as I go is a little much. Um, but I'm going to go into Home Goods and see if they have Halloween because some of them are putting them out. And I got some time to kill until my friend gets out of work. So, let's go see if they have Halloween. Oh my gosh, there's a crumble. How did this get here? There's a crumble. Hey, Bryant. Um, Home Goods. This is our this is our host for the evening. Everyone, please make some noise for our hostess, Dollar Bill. <laughs> yes, Diva.
we're gonna go from this to chopping it. I'm I'm really excited. Like I love it long, but I need <laughs> I, I need I, I need a break from the headache from the ponytails. All right, here she is. Um, it's a little longer on one side than the other, but yep. I like it. <laughs> Sweating up a storm. So apparently all my friends are like, you gotta try Aroma Joe's. So I am at Aroma Joe's grabbing some coffee and iced tea for my friends. And we're gonna try it. See how it is. It's hot. Alright, so we got the beach bum. I didn't know I had bubbles. Okay. Wasn't expecting that though. Not bad though. Welcome back. So I should have taken notes. <laughs> so Lane Bryant, um, I ended up buying something. No, actually, I said I was going to Home Goods in the beginning ish of the video. And uh obviously they didn't have anything. They had flamingos and Fourth of July. But I have hope that we have some. Hold on one second. Anyway, so I have hopes that my area might have some stuff out because uh, pumpkin, I know if you're a summer person, I'm sorry, <laughs> but if you're a spooky girl like me and it's summer ween and you know, you're just trying to get that little bit of serotonin in your system. Um, I know that Bath and Body Works is starting to put out their pumpkin smelling stuff or fall smelling stuff. So if there's sales coming up and you want to like start stocking, now's the time. Um, what else did I see? Um, oh, I was at Target yesterday with Little Bro and in the, is it called Bullseye spot? We used to call it the dollar spot, but now it's Bullseye area there were uh gourds and things like that coming out so i was like Ooh. anyway so home goods was a bust where did i end up going i went to lane bryant there oh i went to jc Penney's, but i don't have my bathing suit here anyway um so this is the top that i got from lane bryant i think it's inside out but it's the same way either way and then I got these earrings, which I wore to tea time because they were fun. So that was a win. Um, I went to the Starbucks that was up there. It was a good, it, that was a good day. Uh, what else did it show? So the Laughing Earth Farm is part of a CSA of, um, New York State and I had done it with Danielle I want to say the two years before I moved out to California and basically you pay so much up front and a local farm provides fresh crops for you every week and when I did it I split it with another woman and we swapped every other week because there was just a lot of food and I used it for my daycare and it was kind of cool, you know, because they had a, a picking garden, which they were still working on. That's kind of like the dry area that you saw in the beginning of it. And then, um, you know, throughout the, the season, they put in flowers and things like that. So you can pick flowers, you can pick herbs and whatnot. And then 
I didn't know that they did strawberries. Uh, that must be new. I, I don't know. We didn't get strawberries <laughs> when I did it. But that was pretty cool to go around the back and they have their chickens out and um, you could pick your own strawberries. And then the buckets are what you pick out of each week and you sign in and there's also a giving bucket and they, you can trade out if there's something that you wanted more of and you wanted to put something in there. Um, and I think the food goes to either the homeless or it goes to the farm animals. So it was, it was a really cool experience and I, I was happy that I got to go with Danielle and go for the drive to there. Um, I got my hair cut. I got to go to my first drag show. I didn't do a pride video. Um, because for me personally, pride is all year round. You know, I, I have loved ones and I just, I try and represent them throughout the whole year, not just the month. I didn't like any of the merch from anyone this year. I, um, yeah, I just wasn't a fan. And then, uh, one second. Anyway, so I, um, I didn't go to any parades, but I, I did go to my first drag show. I, her name was Jana. Where's my sticker? I bought a sticker at the merch table. I was hoping that there was going to be prints because we ended up going to the meet and greet, which is part of the, um, the video after the, um, the drag show bit that I did because I couldn't tape her show, but at the end, I guess there were, cause we came at the end of it because we did go to book club before that. <laughs> Not that any of this makes sense, but Danielle and I went to book, no, we went to the farm share, the book club, and the drag show all in one go, or like one night. So there was a lot that night. And it was for free, hosted by the state of New York. And it was really cool. I mean, there were ages, you know, zero to a hundred and it just it was really cool to see that it was being provided and being provided by the state so that was fun and got my picture Danielle and I got our picture so that was really cool um if you are looking to donate for pride uh I have personal family and friends that I could link their GoFundMe to, um, but I would prefer a message so that I know you personally. I don't want to give their information out. Um, what's in the trigger? And then I also donate monthly to HRC, which is a organization that fights for the Alphabet Mafia community. <laughs> And they've been working on trying to reverse a lot of the bills that have been getting passed and things like that. So, the, and they always have things where you can join in and help and they give you causes, they give you updates. So I will link that organization down below. Um, to everybody that got out, happy pride. I hope you had a great time. I hope you were safe. Um, I, I hate what the community is going through and I, I really hope that we come out the other side a lot better than what we're doing. So that's, that's how I feel about Pride Month. What else happened after that? Mm. I gotta go through my video in my head. Did it jump to, oh, it jumped to my nephew's graduation. So happy graduation, class of 2023. I hope you guys have a terrific summer. 
um, and good luck to your future endeavors. And what else after that? You can see the wheels turning, can't you? Um, graduation. I feel like there was something after that. I don't know. I'll go back through and voice over it. And then the food that was on fire is from one of my family's favorite Chinese food places called Plum Blossom. Um, somebody got the flaming steak. <laughs> And we all were like, ooh. <laughs> uh, God. I feel like there was more. And the stuff that I didn't show was I was able to get content for my upstate New York ice cream. I did get to go to four places, so I'm going to have a video for that. I did get to go to the Peace Pagoda. I went after I got my hair cut. And... That place is still one of my favorite places on the planet. Uh, what else? I went to Tanglewood and got to watch a taping of Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. I knew about the show, but I've never, like, tuned in. Um, just because NPR and podcasts and stuff are kind of tough for me to get into. Um... I do better with audiobooks and whatnot, YouTube. And, uh, but that was a lot of fun. And a whole bunch of our friends had like tables and food and it, the grounds were gorgeous. So I have a video of that. And then I can't remember the name of the place. So I'm gonna put it here, but we went for tea time in Massachusetts and it was so cute. It was rainy and drizzly, but we didn't care. <laughs> And we still went and I just it was so fun like you get these little tiny teapots and you get the three tiered of like sandwiches and stuff and um and yeah it, it was just and then we got basically a VIP tour because we were the only ones that signed up for it so we got to walk the um the the grounds and like the gardens and stuff and it was a lot of fun but after that I was exhausted and I canceled everything <laughs> and I just slept I ended up going shopping with my Nana later on that night and um I got we have the best fish fry in our area that I've had I've had it down south sometimes I like it depending on the um the breading but I love Ted's Fish Fry from New York. It kills my stomach, but I love it. What else? God, I feel like there was another thing that I did. I don't know. And I got to see pretty much all of my family. And I think a good chunk of my friends, not all of my friends, but a good chunk of my friends. Uh... <laughs> Ironically, my friends that I always see when I go, they went on vacation, but I, I just, I want to thank you guys just for everything that you do. All of my friends, all of my family, I'm super grateful that you were able to spend your time with me and pick me up when I didn't want to drive or, you know, it just, it doesn't go unnoticed and I appreciate you very very much um goodness i think that's the month as for the readathon i will do my monthly books hold on one second let me finish my thought okay no i lost it oh the readathon so Hannah was nice enough or just didn't want to deal with everybody asking <laughs> who won um, for the, you know, which team won. So she gave us until 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Sunday the 2nd. And then 
they're gonna do the tallies and everything like that and then let us know. So I'm gonna do a separate video um, just to thank her, thank Kristen Craves from Kristen Craves Books and Daphne from being Daphne. Um, all of the team leaders were fantastic and it was a really cool experience. So I kind of want to just do a video to talk about that. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. So happy July. Um, stay cool. I hope you're having a great summer so far and I'll see you in the next one. Oh wait, it's Sunday. I haven't done it in a while. Ugh. What goals are we going to crush? How long ago did we do Judy Bloom? Mm -hmm. Open. I can never say is Lynn Manuel Miranda. Miranda. There you go. Oh, from Hamilton. says I know how it looks but just start nothing is insurmountable so now I'll let you go oh and the reason why I'm not doing my background yet which I'm excited I'm gonna do like a luau beach party kind of theme that's what I decided to do because I really 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 but come here want to hang this up somewhere. I just really, really do. <laughs> so after I do my readathon video, I'm changing it up. And now I will let you go. Have a great rest of your weekend and the beginning of your week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.